Hello, thank you for joining in. So today we are going to discuss about difference between summarize and mutate functions in dplyr, how their output differs and when one should use summarize versus when one should use mutate. So let's dive in directly. Summarize, as the name suggests, summarizes or aggregates the data flow. For example, this is our empty cars data set. Now let's say if we want to sum the first column, the MPG column here. So using summarize, we can do So this is the sum of mpg column. We can verify this by doing this in base. As we can see, we get the same output. So here you can see that we had a data frame which had 11 columns and 32 rows. Now using summarize, it becomes only it's still a data frame, but it becomes only one column and one row data frame. So as I said, it aggregates the data frame here. Now, as far as mutate is concerned. So let's take the same code and instead of summarize, we use mutate. So now we can see that the original data frame remains same as it is. Now we have an additional column which is called as sum mpg, which is repeated all through the data frame. So this is one clear difference between summarize and mutate. So for convenience, I'm just going to print head of the data frame. So summarize gives, aggregates the data frame and returns only one row of the data frame here whereas in mutate the original dimension of the data frame remain as it is but we add an additional column here named sum mpg so not necessary every time we use mutate we add a new column if we use name of a column which is already existing in the data frame for example instead of sum mpg if i use mpg here it replaces the original column. So here you can see these values were present. Now the previous value, which was some MPG, now becomes MPG column here because we renamed it to MPG now. So not necessarily it always adds a new column. Now most of the time summarize and mutate are used when we group by a particular column. Let's do the same thing, but this time with a group by statement in between. So let's group by cylinders. There are three unique values of cylinder in empty cars data set, which is four, six, and eight. Now, as you see, again, this is an aggregation. Whenever we use summarize, this part is an aggregation here. But since we have grouped it by cylinder column here, we get that column information which is 4 6 and 8 and these sum values are the sum of mpg column in that group to verify let's say we subset empty cars where cylinder is equal to 4 it gives us this now we select only mpg column right and sum this so this is 293.3 which we get and we can verify this when the cylinder is 4 we get the same value here right so this sum is basically the sum of mpg column in that group previously when we use this it was the sum of the entire column similarly now let's see what happens when we use mutate 
with group by. Okay, so these are some different values. We can still see that the dimensions of the data frame does not change with mutate here. So it still holds, but now the differences, instead of having the same value throughout the data frame, we now have the sum of the values within each group. So the cylinder value here is saved. The sum is 138, which we can find here. For cylinder value four, the sum is 293, which we can find here. Similarly, with cylinder value eight, the sum is 211, which we find here, right? So based on the cylinder value, all the columns are filled. So these values of some MPG is basically the sum of MPG column in that group. So when you compare this mutate with this mutate, you see that the dimension is the same Right, so this is 32 by 12. Let's see the dimension. This is 32 by 12. And even this is 32 by 12. But the values are different. Here we get one single value in each row. Whereas when we do group by, we get the grouped sum in each row. You can also add multiple groups in group by. So let's take this again. Group by cylinder and AM. So you can add multiple. So with summarize, you'll notice that the output is basically the grouped columns which are present, which makes sense because as we are grouping by those columns, we need to know what these values refer to, what these values refer to basically. So the columns which are returned are the group by columns and any additional column which are present in the summarize. You can add multiple summarize statement as well. So let's take MPG and mean MPG. You can also add some another column. Let's say mean, what are other columns in empty cars? Let's take HP. So mean HP. Right, so the logic in summarizes, you get the group by columns and any additional columns which are present here. And again, not necessary you have to use the same name or a different name, you can use any name here. You can also use the existing name, which is HP. The same is also true with mutate. So if we just change all this, so with mutate, we can verify that again it is still 32 rows and now there are 13 columns because we are adding these additional columns and these values are the sum or mean of the values in those respective groups now when to use summarize and when to use mutate. So let's go back again to this example where we can see that in mutate if we use this value 642.9 is repeated for the entire data frame. Now based on what you want to do you have to decide that is it beneficial for you the same value is repeated through the entire data frame. If you want the data frame to remain as it is in that case it makes sense to have the duplicated values but usually when we apply some mean functions which are basically aggregated functions it, it's better to use summarize instead of having duplicated values we can have only one value which provides us the same information as this value provides right but without duplication although this is not a general rule it varies from situation to situation what you want to do if there are certain values which change in every row right you want to assign a row number for every group in empty cars. So 
so let's say if you want to assign a row number for now you can see okay let me arrange it by cylinder so that it's clear so you can see this every value changes in the row and every value is different than the previous value there are no duplicates here in such cases it makes sense to have muted instead of summarize anyways if you use summarize this will not work so let's say we can we can say that most of the summarize function that you are using can be used in muted if you are using this using this you can also use it in muted as we did here right but if you are using something in muted it will not necessarily work with summarize right because summarize expect a value which is of length one which is a summary value and not 11 because here we we are getting 11 values which changes for every row will most of the times run on muted but not necessarily everything which runs on muted will run on summarize I hope this video was useful and you got something to learn from this. If you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to comment in the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.